What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to install an RSX Type S oil pump on a K24A2. So as you can see the K24 oil pump is still in place. In order to remove this we have to take off this guide, the chain tensioner, and then there are four bolts that hold the pump in. There's two 14s and there are two 12s. So we're going to go ahead and do that and get the pump off. What you're going to want to do is lift the front up here and tilt it out and we can pull it out from underneath the chain. And she is off. We also have to remove this portion of the windage tray and this portion of the windage tray. We're going to replace that with an RSX one. So here we have both pumps side by side. Here's the new RSX Type S one. And this is the old K24 one. You can definitely see the size difference between the two. This one is definitely quite a bit heavier. Here we have the new windage tray that's going to replace the two-piece one that was for the K24. I also replaced the uh, RSX Type S guide here. As you can see, they're shaped slightly different. I, I got a new chain for the K20, and I bought a new oil chain tensioner. So depending which oil pan you plan on using, you might need to remove these studs. If you're keeping the K24 oil pan, these are okay to leave in, but the RSX Type S one, these will not work. The pan's uh, thicker and you're going to need bolts specifically for the pan, so you're going to have to remove these. I usually use a vice grip or you can double nut these, whichever is easier. Careful, they tend to break easy. One of the key steps is to remove this oil plug here. Uh, you can do it out a few ways. You can get a pick, you can put a screw in there and pull it out. But we're going to pop this one out and replace it with a bolt. So I got the little plug out. As you can see, it's a threaded hole. What I like to do before I put this bolt in is put a little Honda bond on it to make sure this thing goes nowhere. And if you do not replace this bolt and leave this open, you will have pretty much no oil pressure so this is definitely a step you do not want to forget and you do not want this thing to come loose. Make sure that the windage tray fits with the bolt here. I've seen some people use some larger size heads and they've had to drill out this hole. Be sure that you torque these down to 8.7 pounds. You don't want these to come loose. One of the other really important modifications that has to be done to the oil pump to make it fit is some trimming to the actual pump itself. So as you can see this is kind of trimmed over here but you have to shave out some of the material so it clears these bolts over here. I'll show you when it's all done. So see how tight it is over there and over here. Pretty easy. Just gotta shave it to give it enough room. So here we have the chain. We're going to attach it to the sprocket down here. And you're going to have to kind of tilt the pump in. Like so. There we go. Now it's on there. The next step is to tighten the bolts down for the oil pump. These two 12s are going to be torqued down to 16 foot-pounds and then the 10 millimeter in the front is going to be 8.7. Now we put on the oil pump chain guide. You're going to torque these down to 8.7 as well. And then the tensioner is going to get put on. I bought a brand new one. Like I said before, you can use your old K24 one if you would like. But it's nice that the new one comes with this little holder. So you can install this much easier. I'll show you. Now once it's all tightened down, pull this guy out. So it's got some nice tension. All right guys, that's all for today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, I'll answer them. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel.